Now there is another way to do this integral and what that is is that when we have a division in a log that is going to be the same as the natural log of x minus the natural log of 2. We have two terms now though so make sure you put that in brackets and that's integrated with respect to x. So how do we integrate this? Well the integral of the natural log of x has to be done by parts. We think of that then as the integral of 1 times the natural log of x with respect to x and then this is just simply the integral of the natural log of 2 with respect to x. Dealing with the first integral by parts, just in case you are not familiar with by parts, then I've brought the formula up here. What we have is two parts u and dv dx and when you're dealing with natural logs what we do is always choose the natural log function to be the u part. So I'll pop that in there as u and that means that the 1 is the dv dx. So just put that there that 1 is the dv dx. You most probably oughtn't to have to do this uh, in time. You should be able to just do this by, si by sight. Now according to the formula then we have u times v. So that would be u which is the natural log of x. Put that in brackets. Multiply this by v, v being the integral of 1 so that is x. And then we have minus the integral of what we just integrated, that's the v part, that's that bit there, so just put that there, multiplied by du dx. So we need to differentiate the natural log of x, which is simply 1 over x, a standard result. Don't forget the dx on the end. So this part is the integral or it's start the start of the integral of the natural log of x with respect to x. Now when we come down to this term here, remember that natural log of 2 is a constant. So you're integrating a constant with respect to x, so it'll be that constant times x. So in other words, it will be minus natural log of 2 multiplied by x. Now you should write that in a bracket with the x on the end or better still you can write the x at the front so x natural log of 2 without the brackets. Don't forget the constant of integration plus c as well. So you can see that all we need to do now is just clean this integral up so the x's cancel and so what we're left with is tidying this up we have x natural log of x x ln of x then we have minus the integral of 1 with respect to x and then minus x natural log of 2 plus c so integrating the 1 is going to give just x and then we have minus x natural log of 2 plus the constant and you could leave the answer like this or you could see that you could group these two terms up by pulling x out as a common factor and you'd have then the natural log of x minus the natural log of 2 then you have the minus x on the end and then plus c and using the subtraction rule for logs this is the same as x natural log of x over 2 then minus the x plus c. So that gives us the result of this integral by an alternative method.